So today's class, we are going to use QGIS to uh, acquire satellite imagery. So, but QGIS have a plugin that enables us to get this done. So we already have that plugin downloaded to our system. So I've shared it to all of you guys, and uh, here is it on my system. It's called Tile Plus. So for you to install it on QGIS, you go to Plugin. If you are in Plugin, you go to Manage and Install Plugins. With your internet connected, it's going to connect and fetch all the plugins that is available on QGIS. Are we together? Now, once it has opened all the plugins, it's asking you this all, and that is all the plugins that are available, and then also installed. Then there's invalid, and then install from zip. Now, the type plus we have, you have to install it. So it's zip, you don't need to unzip it. So you just come to this three dot line here, you click on it. So you go down to where it is. So it's called Tile Plus, and then you open it. So once open it, you ask it to install. Then you say yes. I have installed it already, but then it has said it successfully installed. So once you've seen that, you come to install, and then you check. Yes, it's already installed. You close it. All right. So you that are just installing it you may find yours somewhere around here but mine is here because i have quite a lot of plugins so but then understand the logo is just style t and the plus sign the plus sign is red so wherever you see you just click on it click on it on your system click on the t and the red sign plus that's the tile plus are you there? If you are there, respond so that I know. All right. So are we having it in the center of our system like this? Okay. So now what you're going to do is, you remember from QGIS and all the other software we've been using, we've been selecting map source, right? So here, if you click on select map, you're going to see a variety of lists. Can you see those lists? Now, you have rain, rainfall prediction. You can actually, that's why I told you, QGIS have varieties of things. All somebody just needs to uh, get that. If, if somebody developed these plugins, it's going to do exactly what the person says it should do because it has that capacity of bringing in more plugins. So we have Bing Virtual Edge, we have a street ter terrain, we have a city topo wall quite number of them and then we have the google map and then we have the google satellite hybrid we have the google satellite we have the open source open street map now we can download just shape files from here as well just shape file of the place we select all right but then let's start with since the satellite image that brings us in here let's start with the satellite imagery so everybody select google satellite Are we on Google Satellite? Then you click the plus sign that is by the site. Have you clicked it? Click on Google Satellite. Yes. It's supposed to bring in the Google image. But well, I think network. Some people have you seen your own? Yeah? Yours have appeared. Let me see. What is it showing you? Okay, good. My I think is network. Uh, uh, Laura, are you there? It's showing you what now? Same thing with mine, yeah. 
Who is already showing? If, I, if you want, it's already at Google set live. Okay, now zoom to Nigeria just like we did on SAS Planet. You keep zooming up, it will clear up. Maybe you repeat yours again. Just zoom to the same place we have. That's Zaria now. Let's see. It's not saying what? This on the mind is not even showing. So how do we? Let me select a series. I don't know my offense, so my own refused to show. What's up? Somebody should give me the internet, I will make my own show. Beats maker, you sleep. Let me see what it's going to do. That's good to know. Thank 
All right. How many people have been able to locate any place? My out to now is not sure. How terrible is my network that this thing no one should? So, have we been able to locate anything? Now you can also click and make search, but my own has not even really shown anything. Now, there's this uh, earth, this thing up. I don't know whether yours is showing. There's this three earth logo showing somewhere after you check this thing. Mine isn't showing up to now, so I don't know man. I don't know my friend, but mine isn't showing up to now. Alright, so what you need to do next is my is not showing. How do I show you these things now? Let me restart my QGIS. So now you you only have the location to speak to right. No, you not see you not see to any location. You have to ask me where are you now? No, you Thank you. 
What will be the name of the router? I don't see how long. Okay. This is the first word. Uh, uh, with what? If you talk along, God will beat you. Uh-uh. I swear I do am now. Capital letter. Huh? So you do not say it now. Okay, so let me give it a try again and see. Ah. Bless. Okay. Finally. Okay, so my has shown, and uh, I'm quickly going to zoom to a location. Let's say this network. So, I'm trying to locate a place. If you have a place, look at the way I will zoom my own. Though. Now, pay attention, please. I say pay attention when they make noise. This is Kano. I did kind of recognize this garden. This one, uh, botanical garden. Zoological garden, something in Kano, yeah. This is Kano. Is that? What? Okay, I say pay attention when I will form another class. Okay, so you're going to zoom to where, let's say, the work I want to do is this site where I am now. Now, to downloading this image, to downloading this image, you have quite a few things to do. All right. <sighs> so you're going to right click on the Google image and then you go to export. Now, this Google here, this Google satellite I am on, right click on it and come down to export. Are we there? Then save as. After the export, you're supposed to rewrite the procedure down. You right click, export, save as. Then a dialog box will open. Now, this dialog box we have. Are you sure this? Oh. All right, so now pay attention. We have the format. Now I see as many format that are available. Click on that format. Output mode is raw data, right? Output mode is what? Raw data. Format. We have plenty number of formats here, depending on what you want to do. We have GeoTIFF. I think that's the best format you should export as. Then they're asking you 
file name so you click on the three dots at the end so we have a folder we created for this work already now gis training you remember i said you should create a folder and put all your work and then name each one by the software that was what i said the last class you create a folder gis training then each of the software we've done so far map puzzle sas planet google Earth. you name it google Earth, sas planet map puzzle then you put each of their work there now this one now will be what qgis satellite right so you create a folder qgis satellite on inside the gis training so we're going to create that folder qgis data or satellite anyone so inside the QGIS data now, that's when you now write the name. Me, I'm downloading Kano. I don't know where you're downloading. So wherever you're downloading, you select that one. Oh, it's just the folder you're going to bring in, not the name. Just click on the folder you created and open it. Have you done that? The next, they're asking you layer name yes good then the next is crs the coordinate system the crs is a coordinate system cr coordinate s system that's what it means so we have we have wgs slash studio mikato you know, okay, pseudo range meaning it is it's a distance that is not measured by I think just leave it pseudo, you know what it means a pseudo relationship and the rest. So you so let's use pseudo mercato eighty four. Click on CRS, you will see the coordinate system available. There's default. And there is Mercato, there is just pick the Mercato. See, all of them get studio, just pick any of the Mercato. Just pick any of them. Pick any one. Yes, pick any one. Have you done that? Now you can also redefine it by this and I kept this thing at the end of it can you see it so click on it to click on it there are other coordinate system you can select but then they've given you what you want I'm just trying to show you that you can also yeah define other ones so you see that there are plenty of them here you if you have your own coordinate system they say user define you can also choose but then easily here we can get what we want so you can leave the rest like that now when you come down they said extend now what they are asking under this extent is a current layer that is what the, the place that is visible to this uh this page that is visible like this what you can download i get him that's why you see north west south east so it has picked the coordinates of the four cardinal points. Here's the visible layer. But then if you come down, if you come down here, you see we have layer, calculate from layer. They say layout map. And then you see current, uh, current layer extend, map canvas. Do you see what I'm showing you? Now there are even options for you to bring in a shape file. But currently I'm not seeing that here. So what is available now? If you download what is available now, now the layer they're asking you is that you are downloading this image from Google Satellite. That's why if you click on the layer you see Google Satellite. Now layout map is supposed to take me to where I will import 
a defined coordinate, a defined shape file, but it's not open. I don't know where yours is doing. It's also not clicking. So click on the current layer extend. That is what they are seeing right now. Have you clicked on it? But something is wrong. It's supposed to show. No, it's not supposed to open. Just leave it like that. Now, resolution. You see that it's saying vertical resolution is 400 and whatever. Maybe 4 million or whatever. I don't know. Oh, 40,000 or 400, I don't know. Under your current, your resolution, you can decide to change that resolution to one. One, it's one meter. Yes, put one, one there, horizontal and vertical. Yes, put one, one. Yes, that's one meter, one meter. Just put one, one, one and one, one on horizontal, one on vertical. Click OK. Click OK. Have you clicked OK? What is this saying? Click OK. That is already started downloading. Yes. That one one is one meter. So what we want is a one meter resolution of this image. So it will take time and your data. Has anyone on downloaded already? You say? One meter on vertical, one meter on horizontal. Cannot write Rasta. Good. There's something that's actually really wrong. I don't know, but then something that's really wrong. Let's increase the distance small. Let's make it just this. Make your own smaller again. Just make it few buildings. Let's try it again. And then allow it to stream up all. Okay, yours is downloading. How many percent? You say? Just increase it, let it be a very small portion. If you have increased it, then let's do it again and see. Have you increased it? Some are, some some people don't have downloading, Abby. Okay, now change it to the first, very first uh, CSV, C C R S. Use the first CRS. Let's see. Now use map canvas extent instead of the current layer extent. Are we there? Now put the same one meter, one meter. Let's see. Can I what? The same thing again. Yes, okay. The same thing. Wow. Let's try with the resolution that they gave there and see.
Just leave the resolution they gave there, let's see. Ah. I think maybe the resolution was too high. You said? Don't, don't touch the resolution, just exp Yes, calm down. Has it been successful? This is the first one. Laura, what is this saying on your own? You said? Yes, it's empty. You have to go and bring it in. You remember the folder you save it in? You save it in the folder in your system. Did you save it in the folder in your system? Go to that folder. Successfully, right? But nothing is there. Nothing is there also. Something is wrong. Yeah, what? Have anyone tried his own and it's working? Mine hasn't worked, so I'm trying it again. Me, it told me it's successful, but nothing is really showing. Be the nets of mostly allowed. Enter the folder and drag it and drop. Let's see. I did, but well. mine is showing nothing. This they want to embarrass my generation. It shows what? I will try it again and see. I'm going to use Abuja this time around. Hoping it will do. No, no, I hope this thing don't embarrass my family.
Who's one is showing success for Abeg? Seven tax field, seven letter. Oh, this thing have successfully embarrassed my family. Let me try for the last time. If you don't do with the dump and go to the next thing. So let me change this to normal JPEG and see. Find JPEG on your own. Try it again. Let's find JPEG. Yeah. Is there any JPEG format there? Yes. There's no JPEG, only the... Okay. Just choose back the first one we did before still. Choose that one still, let's see. Yes. I'm trying for the last time, if you know, do go leave and go find another thing. All right. It's, it's doing as if it's doing, let me just believe it. So while this is doing, open up your browser and just search USGS. Open up any of your browser and search USGS before it finishes. SGS. On your browser, yes. Have you done that? Yes, USGS and enter. Who is there? If you have an account with USGS, let me see your hand. Okay, log into your account. Then create a new one. All right, so if you don't have an account, who is on this? like this all right use the eros registration system click on it all um laura are you there are you on this registration page usgs click on the eros registration system so i'm going to create a new account you can see my own account there so I'm going to create a new account. All right, here is how the form appears. You see? 
It's net of this here. Who is on the registration page? ers.cr.usgs.gov slash register. That's the website. Are you there? All right, fill in your username. Yes. The one you're not going to forget. Are we there? Who is on the registration page? Now the pass password is alphanumeric. That is, is a mixture of name and numbers, letters and numbers. Have we filled in the password? Yes, for those who have reached there. Who is have put in their password? Then there is this dialog box ground that said, I am not a robot. Click on it. Have you reached there? You are making call and you want it. Who has finished filling it all? Oh, are you there? What happened? They're trying to. If you cannot reach, you just register a new one. Just register a new one. Everybody click on register. If you have an account, you don't just click on register. Let's go. What about you now? This one, everybody. Who is who has filling their login or their details? You don't fill in. You don't enter. For those who are there, you click on continue before this thing vex and return back. Where are we? System one has reset, so I have to. I mean, where are you? Listen, you far. Don't log into your account. Okay. The shouting sector. List the sector that are there. Click on that one. Who is there now? We are trying to my own reload back, so it's like that's taking this thing already. Nobody has come back here yet. Not a entire small area. So now you see it's asking, look at what it's saying. Must be between four and thirty characters. May contain alpha num alphabetic and numeric characters. So now another thing they want here is that 
it should contain also a special character that is art those semicolon and the rest okay so but then it, since it's say may only it's not necessary so add maybe a capital letter to one of your you say okay that means you pass and uh, wait for us there we are coming Let's hope my own will enter now. Uh -huh. Let me add one to this side. <coughs> Leave this from here. Laura, you all never reach here. Reload your page. Please just reload the page. Okay. Me, it has finally allowed me. So, who, who don't pass the first registration page? You are, you are here now. They say, in what sector do you work? Academic institution. Are we there? Are you working on behalf of US federal agent? No. So which of the following characterize you as a user of remotely sensed data from USGS? You are not a data provider. You are an end user. This. Okay, register. You finish registration. Is there your name on top? Like, is it having a login details for you? By the right hand side, is it having your name? So you're on us login. So congratulations, just stay out of it. You are an end user. You are also a technical user. So tick the two, you say. Sector, you are an academic institution. Calm down now. We are trying for others to follow now. Hey, where are we? All right, so does your work use remotely sensed data from USGS? Yes. So they're asking you how many percent of the data say of, of your work that uses remotely sensed data from you, what percentage is operational and non-operational? Just keep, leave it 50-50. Yes. 50 operational, 50 non-operational. What's the primary application for use? Which area are you applying it for? We're doing that in engineering, construction, and surveying. So they're asking additional area while you use this data. Engineering, you've ticked it already. Coastal science and monitoring management. Assessment agriculture just tick as many that you feel is okay for you that one not necessary you can use for defense land use land cover choose as many that you feel is applicable to you technical training like this one we're doing urban planning and development transportation telecommunication real estate hazard insurance geology tick as many that Education, university, and college. You can click all anyway. So now they are asking you. Laura, where are you?
Okay, select. They are asking you, are you together? Are we together? They are asking you whether how much of this data you acquire from here will you distribute to others? Say most of them. Like, if I download now, person want the same area. Give it to him. <laughs> then they are asking you, over the year, how important will free and open access to this be to you conducting your work? Very important. Huh? So, I don't know. <laughs> Then you continue to contact information. If you reach them. Uh, begin to fill that one. That one you know how to fill that one. Tosin, where are you? You say? Okay, give your account back. Okay, so you're signing up now. Where are now? Lola, where are you? Brighton. <laughs> Alexis, what's up? Where are you now? You've registered. You've sent your feeling your. All right, let me come and see. Yeah. 
Yes, anything that's big geology. For those who are in the last speech feeling this, some of you should use Amadou Bello University. But me, I'm using my company. Use Amadou Bello University. Oh. Bayana is good. It's good. Pick anyone that suits well for you. So once you finish feeling you that's for those in the last page you save the contact information some people have submitted finally right who have submitted finally if you have submitted finally you go to your email for every just leave it 50 percent yes so once you've reached here you have reached this final page just submit registration if you submit it's going to ask you to verify so you need to go to your email submit then you go to the email that has that this thing you say Select what? And click on it. What is this telling you? Very important. 50-50 is already there now. I mean, most of them. Most of them. Yeah. So sign in to the email you just used and then... Sign into that email, there is a verification message that is waiting for you there. Yes, the email address now, go there. So I'm going to sign into the email I'm using for that account. Yes. Have you signed into your own email? When I don't sign into an email, you you've recovered your account now. Be, where are you now? You say?
Have you gone to your email? The email you use for yeah. on your last page. Have you filled in your contact address? Your contact info? Fill it fast, fast, so that we should proceed. You say? What, what? Put that here, you're putting ABU now. Now, if you, if you are putting ABU, use your Z poster code. Use 810222. You already have your own, right? 810222. Two in three places. But do not else. Use your own email, any email. You've not used any email before now. Choose you don't recover. Okay, this is on your email now. Yeah, so put in the details again. Put it again. Make sure you don't make mistakes. What are we Who don't go and do verification? You don't verify. All right, so you sign in. You don't put anything other than this one. You just put in. Problem. Try it again. I mean, miss something. Those in where you did. Okay. Okay. If they don't confirm now, sign in to your account now. Buzu, are you in now? Yes. What about you, Hassan? What about you, Hassan? What about you? Eh? They've sent you mail, right? Now go to your email now to Go to the email to verify. Write in where are you? You will just write again later. You will try to create account again later. First will supply emails. What's happening? Okay. Are we all inside? Go back to USGS Earth Explorer now. Yes, USGS Earth Explorer. We want to enter and download data now. Show you what. Thank you. 
Okay, you can see that mine is already empty. This is x x plus. You what? Just click it. Maybe the network has not allowed it to go. Okay, how how many of you is showing you by this side? Showing something like this, and then your username is by the side. It's telling you to look right here. Look up. You are all in here. Even you all know do now. Just log into USGS, and uh, let's. You say? See up here now. She you say you already logged into your account. Say USGS Ad Explorer. I've seen where this page like this. And just type USGS Ad Explorer by another tab. Okay. Even if you have not logged in, just use USGS Ad Explorer. Open to this page. Yeah, you you want to share what? So click on the login now. She say you have you've accessed your account. Then log in now. Yours for tossing. <laughs> oh, this network is horrible. Okay. Those who your own is not working, please jot down the step. So now, just for now, let's follow up. Okay, look up. Now, this is USGS Ad Explorer. I'm talking, you are, you are talking. This is USGS Ad Explorer. 300 level, 200 level. I just have to give you a walk to bring you to here. Now, we are supposed to pay more attention. Final year project. Those of you that will do remote sensing, you will come here. Even if you are looking for Sentinel, you will still use USGS because now they get all this data. Trying to explain this thing, pay attention. So, here we have search criteria, we have data set, we have additional criteria, and then we have results. Are you looking up? Okay. Now, if you are signed in, you will see three criteria like future. Where is the noise coming from, please? What? No. We have search criteria, we have data set, and we have results. Those are the two things we need to fill. So under search criteria, we have geocoder. Now geocoder is asking you, you, you select the location. Are you with me? Now, inside the selected location, we have future, we have address and place, and we have path and role. Now, path and role, the whole country is divided into path and role. Nigeria, Niger, all other countries have their path and role. Okay? So the path is between 180 something, and some US have 42, 41, Nigeria have 185, 180 down to 189. 
that's Nigeria, then roll 50 down to 57. Okay? So, now, the address now, you just search. If you know where you are, let's say, she give you USA now. I mean, she give you Texas. You will search Texas. Then you will automatically show you the pattern row. But if she gave you a pattern row, you just check it to pattern row. And then you put... Now, I have an example of 186, roll 56. I think this is one of this 400 level with this thing. So once you click show, now put in 186, row 56 and see. 186, row 56. That's in Bamenda, Cameroon. 186, row 56 will take you to Bamenda, Cameroon. Who is there? 186 path rule 8056. You did Cameroon good. I'm just showing an example. She'll give you a path. Me. Listen. Listen. Each name she's going to give you a portion. That portion was what I explained in Google Ads. Then she'll give you a path and rule. So your name will be against a local government in Nigeria and a path and rule. So she will give you a path. Let's see. 186, 56. The path is 186. The rule is 56. As an example. Now we have 187, 55. Put 187, 55 and see. Yes, change it to 187, 55. Where you did? You did where? Whose side of east? Where? Good. Okay. So everybody is understanding where I did, but now I'm trying to explain this so that when she gives you, you don't need to go and find anybody. Okay, you just do it on your own. All right, now let's change it to address. Under address now, search Zaria. Still on, did you change? There was a place you changed it to pattern row. Go back there and change it to address and place. Okay, those that are not logging, you won't see. And what? Okay, I think it's because you are not logged in. So once you log in, you'll see that. Okay. So now, those who are locked in, hey, those who are locked in will see address. Now, click on search Zaria and click show. It will bring a dot to Zaria. You're not logged in, that's why. Who is already there? Another thing from the map showing you if you already because it's showing location. Listen, I'm trying to explain possible ways you can start your thing. If they give you Kaduna now, all you need to do is which part of Kaduna? Because Kaduna State have over three Landsat scene that covers the whole state. Now, each Landsat SWAT, those doing 206, they tell you is SWAT. Each of the scene captured from the satellites is called a SWAT. It's a scene slash SWAT. Each of the SWAT is 185 kilometer by 185 kilometer. So it's an overlap. Are you getting me? That overlap that gives it those shape that you're seeing it looks like this. So all Lancer scene comes tilted like this. Okay, but it's not really tilted. It's because of the way they were overlapped from the satellite. Okay, it's all right. So, each Lancer scene or SWAT covers 185 kilometer by 185 kilometer. So, I am, I said Zaria, for those who can see Nigeria, uh, now, you that are not locked in, just look at you, see Zaria. 
Just click one point on this area. Can you see this area? It's not. There. Those of you, share you are seeing all the names are written there. So once you see that, just drop a point there. Have you done that? Have you done that? Okay, now once you've done that, you go to data set, click on data set, click on where. Where did I say you should click? If you want to remove your point, that X you see there, once you click on it, to remove the point. There's an X you are seeing. Why not put X by the side? Look by this side. There is an X. That's if you want to remove the point. If you make mistake and you want to remove the point, you click on that. It will remove it. Now, for those who will be doing time series analysis, listen up. For those who will be doing time series analysis, for those who will be doing time series analysis, listen up. Now, still before we go to data set, yes, something that has to do with the past. You're studying 1950, 19, that's time series analysis. Yes, Landsat imagery allows you to download. There is a store data. Laura, you are paying attention somewhere. Now, this Landsat imagery, this Landsat is the Now, they've captured all of this data. They started from Landsat 1, Landsat 2. Lancer 3, that's the name of the satellite on Earth. Lancer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now was launched 2021. So that's why if you enter to download now, under download you will see uh, Lancer 8 and 9. Okay, so now each of them has a year that they were launched. I think Lancer 1 was launched in 1972. So if you, once you get to data set, you see all of those arrangements. So when we talk about time series analysis, like change dictation, you want to know how, what has taken place in Akure between the year 1972 and the year 2022. So you have to download an interval of either five, five years or 10, 10 years to get to where you're studying. Now, what... Time series analysis also symbolifies that if I'm able to study the past, I should be able to project for the future. Now, I've done a study of 30 years behind. I should be able to do a, a projection of 30 years ahead. How will Akure look like in the next 30 years? That I should be able to do. That's time series analysis. All right. So now you have to download this data from maybe 1972 to 19. 82, that's 10 years, or you do 20 years, 1972 to 1992, then to, nine, to 2002, then to 2022. All right? So basically, these are 10, 20, 20 years study between 1972. So you have to find this data on this site to download. So that's why I said, where you're doing, now you have to impute your time. Look at that's why I said, you know, search from, you put the date you want. You put 19, you put the month, the day. Look at your box. Under date range. Oh, you are seeing it now. You are seeing it. Yes, date range. You have month, day, and year. You impute that. 
Then you come and impute two. Maybe let's say you're starting from down to 20, 2018. Or 1980, let's say 1983 down to 2023. Because we're already in August. We're already in July, sorry. And then this Lancet image from 206, you realize that Lancet image covers the earth in 16 days. Who remember 206 people? You never read your remote sense in 206. It is in your notes. A day. A day. Check your notes. From where you want, yes, to the present. To the present, not future. Future is you now. That after you've studied all the past, you can now predict the future. Alright? So, now it's a model. Now, what I'm saying is, your network never load with that. What I'm saying, listen, 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 listen. The Lancer, the, the Lancer satellite covers the Earth and come back to the same location. That is, if, if it covers over Nigeria now, it will come back to Nigeria in 19, from 16 to 19 days. So, which means we are already 27th of July. It has gone and come back. So there is already an image for July 2023. So you can actually do a study from any year to 2023 now. And you have Lancer 9. Now Lancer 8. You have Lancer 7. Okay. Okay, but then I'm still talking if you interrupt now. Just jot down your question and ask when I give chance. Okay. So then Lancer 7. Okay, Lancet 6 was launched in 1996. Go and study this history. I'm only giving an introduction to remote sensing. Lancet 6 was launched in 1996 and then it disappeared. It was not found. So they now launched Lancet 7 in 1999. So if you want to do a study of Abuja, you use Lancet 5. That is, if you want to do study in January of 1999, because Abuja became the Federal Capital Territory in May, Abi, one of the months in 1999. So now, Lancer 7 again become 40 on the 31st of May 2003. So if you download any Lancer 7 now, there's a scan line on it. So those scan line alone, it results to 24% of data loss. So you have to do some corrections. You must correct those data for you to be able to use them. For example, when you are doing analysis that has to do with Lancer 7, you must speak like that because Lancer 8 became 40 in 2013. So which means you are doing any study from 2012 down to 20, 2003, you need a Lancer 7 ETM plus, which means you have to correct those data. Are we together? You say? That's now remote sensing. I'm just giving you. So, in 2013, they now launched Lancet 8 because Lancet 7 has become faulty. And nobody will go back because it's mechanical error. And it's miles away. It's not even on this atmosphere. So, they have to send another satellite, which was Lancet 8. But thank God Lancet 8 has they've corrected those things by adding an advanced sensor to Lancer 8, which is called OLI, forgotten something, Operator Land something, Land Imager, Operator Land Imager. Lancer 7 is ETA Plus, uh, Enhanced Thematic Mapper Plus. And each of them have a name, each of the satellite. Now they launched Lancer 9, I've not taken time to look at Lancer 9, in 2021. So it has a higher resolution. Lancer 7 has a lower resolution. Lancer 8 increases the resolution. And all of these things have a band called panchromatic band. Panchromatic band comes at a higher resolution, which we could use to sharpen the remaining band. Now, each of the other band comes in band 7, uh, in, in, 30 kilo, in 30 meters per pixel as we explained already. 
But then with the lens, with the panchromatic band, which have 15 meter resolution, you can sharpen the rays of the glass to 15 meters. That's I'm just trying to the glass is already boring. <laughs> so the motor is actually in this. And the same thing all three. Master to teach the same thing. He is in the just other things that you need to add to it. So go and read a few things about Lancet image you from Lancet 1 to Lancet 9. You have a better understanding from their website. Okay. So As I said, go and read each of these Lancer from Lancer 1 to Lancer 9. That's your assignment. Go and what? Read from Lancer 1 to Lancer 9. Yes, Lancer 1 to Lancer 9. You have a better understanding. Please, at the top, at the top. Ask me a question, I know go answer it. So now, once you specify your time, the time you are looking for, you click on data set. Now, once you click on data set, these are data set that will apply. So I'm going to use one stone to give lengthy bed. I'm going to explain as many details you're going to get from here. So your network don't go back. You say? What is this in trying to? I don't know. It's doing as if you won't get issue for my screen. I reject it too. Okay. Uh, well, now, we have both the satellite you, the satellite imagery you buy and the ones that are free here under this data. If you click on this aerial imagery, you see plenty satellite. You see high resolution auto imagery. This one Nigeria no get. It will show you empty. Now, the truth be that. So we also have uh why is this say turn me me? We also have elevation data. Click on elevation data. All of this you can download elevation data. I know you've heard of SRTM, US of uh, G Topo and the rest. Digital elevation. If you click on it, you see SRTM below the other ones. So if you download this SRTM, how do you download? All you need is to click on any of the box. If you check the box and you go to result, you're going to see that place. We select this area from search now. So if you go to result now after selecting SRTM, it's going to bring the area result. Just check one. Once you click on result, it should be able to give you a result of the selected area. Are we together? Are we together? Once you go to data set, if, if you are here to download digital elevation, you go to digital elevation. If it is topo, uh, you can choose any. You can choose any. Any of them that you want to download, whether it is listen guys, you can choose any of them. If it is uh, G topo 30, if it is after them, all of them, you can choose any of them here. And once you choose it, you go to result. It's going to display the result. But the best that we have here so far is the SRTM. Short to radar topography mission. That's the full meaning of SRTM. So once you click on that, you click result. It's going to show you who has clicked on result. And has it given you any result? Now, share give you result, Abi. Just click on SRTM, any of them, the first one. Uh, 
Nothing that look like foot. Nothing that look like your leg. Footprint. The network is. Yes, choose any one. You see? Yes, the first one. Have you shown you foot, footprint now? It's covering Zaria and Funtua. Yes. So once you've done that, my own network don't become terrible. I bet your own nine be B, I be your own nine B. Which one be your own this thing? I don't know which one be my own, the name of my own. Is your own downloading? Are we all there? If click on it. Yes, you don't have an account. But then there is you see a download button by the side. Once you click on that, yes, but yours, yours is not active because you are not logged in. Once you click on that button, mine is not showing. So, once you click on that button, it will download for you. But then, we came here to download Good. Then you download. Now, but what brought us here is to download Landsat, right? You scroll down, go back to data set. You scroll down, you see Landsat. Landsat. Are we there? Are we there? We have Landsat. Collection 2 level 3 science product. Now, this science product is saying Lancer 4 to 9 collection 2 dynamic surface water extension. It's guys, listen now. Let's finish this and go. Your loss up. Have you clicked Lancet? I'm only explaining them one by one. This Lancet collection 2 level 2. There's Landsat CUUS analysis ready data. They've done they've done the analysis already. Then there's Landsat collection level two, le collection two level two. There's collection two level one. Now each of them, you will see Landsat eight and nine. You will see Landsat seven, Landsat four to five, Landsat one to five, right? So which one do you want to download? Is what we around which one you check? If it is Lancer 7, you want to download, you click on Lancer 7. It is from 2012 down to 1999, it's Lancer 7. So from 2013 up to now, you can download Lancer 8. Then from 2021 to now, you can download Lancer 9. Okay. And each of them have the way their band combination is also different. Just like a town hall, different from Bad Lovely. Alright. So let's say we want to download Lancer 8 and 9. So we check on Lancer 8 and 9. Now, what do you mean by Lancer 8 and 9 is that they combine them together. So it's your choice to choose whether it's Lancer 8 you're downloading or it's Lancer 9. Now you have to uncheck that one first. Uncheck if you've clicked that SRTM, uncheck it. Yes, on the elevation data. Digital elevation. Have you unchecked it? All right. Now, if you've checked Landsat 8 and 9 under Landsat Collection 2 Level 1, you click on result. No, 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 no. Use level. Collection 2, level 1. Yes, uncheck it and click on Landsat. 
click on Landsat Collection 2, level 1. Yes. Click on Lhasa 8 and 9. Then you click Result. I've been clicking Result, but my internet has not been allowing me. Have you seen Result? Now, I think I will just explain. So now, once it shows you result, it also will show you plenty result of this area because it may be showing you Lansa 8 result and showing you Lansa 9 result. Now, what if you are downloading Lansa 8, what you are focused on is the land cover, uh, cloud cover, sorry, the cloud cover error. This one that is not really showing me. I will only send a video that I explained that. Okay, and now you can see from what I'm seeing here from my main system, the three images I'm seeing there's a lot of cloud cover. Yes, that. You are seeing plenty result. But then you are seeing something like, but then turn, let me show you something. Now, if you go through those things, you see where it asks you to show to just hover your mouse on it. You will see where it's asking you to check yes. click on show metadata it's going to load and show you the metadata of that from the it will preview the now you can see go down you will see the metadata metadata are information about the data metadata information about the data if I snap your picture now, the information about the picture, who is on the picture, what time was the picture taken, what was the size of the picture, what was the sun exposure, the just information about that data. Now scroll down, you will read, so they will tell you the coordinates of the data, but then check your cloud cover. Check for cloud cover and read the cloud cover for the day of. Can you see it from your own system? 45. Now, the cloud cover should be between 0 and 10. Your cloud cover Yes, yes, you see? It's not usable. Your cloud cover must not be more than 10. And see, in all the time you want to download this data, make sure you have zero cloud cover. You can't, it's not usable. So you check among all the data given to you. And don't forget, you are checking for your parts and roll as well. So all the data you are checking is for your parts and roll. So don't go and download for another parts and roll. Are we together? So you were not together. Where, where are we lost? Eh? We are lost at the top. The cloud cover, once you check those things, your metadata, you look for the land cloud cover. Once it is not showing you zero or 
is two, then you exit it, check for another one. You keep checking. You keep checking until you have the one that is zero. If you don't, nine. If you check now, the nine now you, listen. If you have the nine now, for example, you check whether your study area, that cloud is covering it. You have zero point six two. Is good. Yes. You say now check whether listen guys. Listen. Lancer has seen have one hundred and eighty five kilometer by one hundred and eighty five kilometer. Now it's not all this, it's not it's only idea that will ask you to use everything. But if I am studying Zaria. 185 kilometer, not be not be just area. It's covering part you are to part of uh, Katsina. So I'm only going to put my shape file of the place I am interested in and extract. So you check that portion of your study. If it's not where the cloud did, you still download it. That's why they say zero to ten. But then if it is avoidable. Just have the one that is zero or at most two. Okay? Are we together? Yes, so it's it's good to download. But then is click on your, your this thing, click that your foot, the footprint mark. Is it showing the location you selected? Is it showing this area? Yes. Is it showing your Zaria location? Huh? Good, it's still showing. Then you are good to go. Now there's a download button showing like down. So it's a download button. For you who are locked in, you can click download and download it. Good. Now, but your own download button is disabled because you are not locked in. Check. Is it it's showing black, right? Still under that thing. Are you not seeing a download button there? It's showing black, but it's not enabled. It's because you're not locked in. Yes. Now, hey guys. On the download site now, it's not those images you are seeing you're downloading. You know. There's product. Click on the download now. Those are locked in. Now click on that product option. That is the one you're going to download. Not all those ones that are listed behind. Not with those ones. Good. That is the that is the Landsat image. <laughs> that is the one. Listen, that is the one you're going to download. Now this video is not really covering those I'm record is not covering because my system I can't access the internet so I'm going to send a replacement of this video that I explain how you can easily download so for those online and for those here to go through it I think we have over one hour we have one hour 44 minutes yes is that product option home that you download not those lists you are seeing now so I'm just saying, once you, you you register and sign in, sign up again or sign in, sorry. Once your registration is successful, your download button will be enabled. Yes, it's still part of data acquisition for the trainer. The Landsat imagery. Yes. Are we together? So this is how you will download Landsat imagery and digital elevation. The data for it, SRTM, GTOPO, ASTA, and the rest. Just name it, you will download it. All right. So any question? Any question? All right. Who is asking questions? so that our online audience can
You see? I don't know. Just try it again. I think so. Try it again. You have to confirm first. You all have enter now. You are good to go now. All right. So you guys go and follow the video and confirm. Even the video I'm going to send to the group as well because before this video is ready, I know it will reach plenty. Before it's ready, I'll send that. As you go back, take that time, watch this video. It will refresh your memory of all of this. Okay? I'll send you two videos one for this kind of mission and one for this. And then, listen now, Kai. Now, there's another site where you download that is different from this. It's called Glovis. Earth Explorer. Sorry, USGS Glovis. I have a video, so we're not covering that. It's still almost the same thing as this. Then there are other sites. You say what? Both of them are this is the same data, they have the same database, just created a site. So sometimes if this one is misbehaving, that one will help. Your question. Yes, once you click, that is the only option for download. Product option. Before, like that video I'm going to send for you. Before they've not integrated this product option. Before it's just directly you see it and download. But now they've integrated it and put it as product option. That's why I'm explaining. Once you click on product option, it's going to show you the number of gig. It has to be one point something gig. Anything lasts at eight plus. It has to be one point something gig. Lands at seven can be 800, 500 and the rest. Some are even 250 gig MB. But then for lands at eight and nine, yes. It's around one point something gig there about. Any other question? Sorry, somebody has some question. Okay, he's asking the difference between Landsat imagery and satellite imagery. That's what you want to answer. Now, what I said earlier on. If you are Satellite. All these satellites are stable there in the space. They are space born. Remote sensing students. These are space born satellites. Now, the satellite, the ones we use from SAS planet, is just the current images that we use for today analysis. That's, we download it for this year, we use it for digitizing, we use it for all other things. For the Landsat, a remote sensing for extracting information like land use, land cover, vegetation, uh, geological data, and the rest. You can even extract bond area. You can extract temperature data, rainfall from Landsat because this information are hidden in a band. Like Landsat 8 has 11 bands. But band 8, as I said, is always pantomatic band. You don't have Lansa 8 has panchromatic band. Lansa 7 has panchromatic band. Lansa all of them has panchromatic band. So that panchromatic band is to enable in sharpening the, the, the resolution of the image. But then they are used for remote sensing for either time series analysis when you are doing more than one epoch. That is, you are doing maybe 2004 and 2014. Or if you are only doing a land land use land cover map 2023 you just use it do classification you know where it is land use like where it is being used like i'm not really investing now where it is already being used these are built up areas all of these are built up areas but between the built up area there are vegetations here you can see vegetation all around you can see bare lands so those from remote sensing you'll be able to extract this information so that this place is built up like that uh, car park that is in front of these uh, water resources. We know that the tile it that is built up area is already in use. It's a car park. This building we're in is already built up. Geomatics department, Senate, they are built up area. So from this Landsat imagery, who we'll acquired those uh, area through land cover? Okay, this place 
is going to use. This place is going to use. This place is used for uh, educational area. And this place, we have farmlands within the view community, right? Like phase two, they are farming. So these are agricultural land. That's land use. So that's the kind of information you can extract from Landsat. You can extract that from the image we download from QGIS like that. You can extract it from the map puzzle, Google it. No, we can't do all the functions. These are high resolution. Landsat is not high. Landsat, the image is up. I think it's 13 times. All of these information is there. You can only see each building. Buildings are summarized in Landsat because it's in space. 30 meter resolution. I believe this this building no this uh, classroom no reach 30 meter. So it just assume a lot of things. So it will just be shrink. So the only time you can acquire that information is through classification, not function. For it to know, oh, this place is a built up place. But you don't really know what kind of building is there. It is this online you acquire from SAS Planet that will now tell you. That oh this place that was telling us it's a built-up area oh it is water refinery it is a QS it is metallurgical it is formal geomatics it is archi because that image you can now see each of the building and you can now use your eye to depict but this will just classify them in general and tell that this place is built up but then. How you will take note that this place, if you have classified this one and you've digitized this other one, you overlay the two, you will now know that, okay, this point is this and that point is that and that point is that. Do you understand? Any other question? All right. Remote sensing. That is lying with cloud cover. As I said, that's just for the same If you're not doing cloud field analysis, you just get for one, let's say, lying with cloud cover. You know, sometimes people might not want to have lying with cloud cover or maybe it's a case for doing the work. Because I'm doing the work on the same So I want to just have lying with cloud cover. How the land was then. So that's the purpose of lying with cloud cover. If I'm doing study of 10 years ago, I want to have the land use land cover of 30 years. So, I'm doing through of 2010, I'm not using the land use land cover of 2023. Because 2023 is showing what it is now. 2024 will show what it will be then. But then, if I'm doing study of 1985, I will not use the land use land cover of 2023. I will use that year. That's still time series. Do you understand? Is the same image we downloaded just for the purpose of this is now an introduction to remote sensing. So don't join the two. Let me just for now elementary. They are almost they are basically the same thing. But then for elementary purpose, separate this one from that one. This is remote sensing. That one is GIS. Let's do it like that. How do you see it? It can be both, but for now, use SAS for now. Use SAS Planet imagery as GIS imagery. Use this one we do as remote sensing for now. By the time you grow in this, then you will not be able to understand the difference. Okay? Like I said, go and read up land use, land start one to land start nine. Any other reasonable question? Okay. We will see on this one, please. Now, just I want you to know this. This I know there's no assignment for this one, but just know it. Okay, for those who will be interested in remote sensing class, you will need it because then you will still download it. But then for now, we have come to the end of module one. Because module one entails data acquisition and installation. Is it? There are six modules. We are just going to one module. Not necessary. So we are done with the reason is since we are not making every day, it's not necessary. Right? 
Do we, do we understand it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So since there are no questions, the class have come to an end. I will see you on Tuesday. On Tuesday is introduction to GIS. Please get those data, start planning. I said follow the video and download start planning. Follow the video and download the you download the manual download and download. There is a video on the group. Bright link. You've already streamed it. Now you need to download it. That video I sent for class planning. Watch that video. There's a link I share on that. Because we've not done that in this class. We should be doing it now. Time don't wait. We've done all the three hours. So watch that video and download the start plan into your system. I've been noticing something, but download it as both Jotif and as JPEG. Download it too, because I'm noticing something here. It's showing me some error. When, anytime I drag the Jotif, it's not really displaying on that GI. So download JPEG and Jotif. Just follow the video. You already stream, so just fast forward the video to where it's been downloaded, okay? Now, also download the map puzzle, the last class. And then, that's what we use for the training next week, Tuesday. The SAS Planet, there's a video on the group already. I sent you a video. Have, you, have anyone watched the video? Now, what I want you to do for me now is, Everybody go and make comment on that video with your red number. Yes, on that video, make comment with your red number. Okay? I give you red number now. Your red number is GT23. GT100 something. I'll check it for you. So, please try and get those data before Tuesday. All right? So, Tuesday we will be meeting. And then, the video is actually two, two hours. Gong, 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 gong.